We are going on a little day trip today too. You remember? No, it's hard. To the Black Madonna. Yeah. <laughs> I know that. Chips to Goba. How? <laughs> she tried bit gosh. What? Bit gosh. In the bus. Yay. Two and a half hours. Yes. Look at this cute old bus station. Chenstochowa. <laughs> <laughs> nice background. <laughs> we will show you some beautiful things, don't worry. But how do you get it in one shot? We are first walking to Rennec to show you that and then we will go the other way to the monastery or oh, to Jasna Gura. Jasna Gura. Jasna, Jasna means light. Okay. Gura is mountain. Oh, light mountain. Yes. Mountain of light. Yes, it's the Pope. The Polish Pope. It's the Pope. He was here. <laughs> here is Renek. Cesto Chowa. Mm -hmm. There's that's that's the name of the city. Oh. Vrolijk <laughs> kerstfeest is best wel wichtsviand. <laughs> but it's worth um, looking at Rinek. Yeah. Now we are going there. Yasnagura. So there's some kind of fair. There's a big park around. There is the monastery with the famous painting, right? Right, with the Black Madonna. Yeah, the Queen of Poland. So we want to ask you, Marlene, as well, oh. that if you know something about this place, about the history, about the people, please let us know because we looked some, th some things up on the internet, but it's always nice to hear from the locals. It's true. Yeah, they know best. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Very impressive already. We are high. Jasna Gura.
yeah, we were in there. It was really special because we were like we were entering like when the mass was just starting. So Marlene experienced a true mass here in the church. How was mm -hmm. it? Well, I couldn't understand all of it. <laughs> <laughs> But you felt it? <laughs> but I felt it, yeah. yeah so it was many very spectacular to, to go in the church and it was like gold everywhere and it was so huge. Yeah. Yeah. Really immense. Mm -hmm. oh. I love how she was trying to soak it all in and had this true Polish experience with me together. Marlene loves the sweet things. Look, yeah. she loves food in general. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at that, a kwiatomat. Never seen that before. It was a really special trip for both of us. I think we both experienced the feeling of richness. And it was really nice to arrive at the old bus station and then walk through the city. First to Rinek and then to Jasnagura, because for us it felt like the city has two faces, like a new one and the old one with the monastery. And then you have that big street, um, big beautiful street that connects the two. And you have that a square in the middle where the, the event took place. And now we know that it was about the great orchestra for the Christmas help. Um, all over Poland was that uh, event. Um, so we enjoyed a little bit of that and uh, then we had the path of the the same path that millions of pilgrims each year uh, take to finish their their journey to the monastery and that was really special to you know be in such a special place for Poland it's a really important place and we felt it we felt it because as, as we told you we were entering the church and then at that moment the mass started so we were in the middle of it and there were so many people so I could understand some because it, it's in Polish and Marlene just you know she felt it and she recognized some things from the church in the Netherlands but it was yeah I, I really am so happy that I took her here and she told me so many times that she was so grateful that I took her here because she really appreciated it. And today it's Monday and she is now on a trip to Auschwitz. I brought her to the bus this morning, early in the morning. <laughs> and she will be back around four, I think. I will get her from the bus and then we go together for a last um, Polish dinner, I think, and talk about everything, so. Mm -hmm. 